to another video. Today I'm going to be um, talking about sitting and how it relates to a lot of the hip problems and the questions I get about bulging discs, hip impingements, piriformis syndrome. All these things are, are commonly linked to people who have occupations that, that require them to sit so they, they can't sort of stop sitting because their job demands that of them. So um, what you're going to have to do is use uh, some exercise intervention and, and some awareness of the how you're sitting to uh, overcome the fact that you're still going to need that job. All right. So I've got Nathan here demonstrating a sitting position. And this is a common sitting position that most people will be aware of that's not good. I don't need you to t tell you that, to know that. But to understand what happens to the mechanics of the hips and the spine, um, this will give you a good understanding of why your exercise that may not work if you're doing this for several hours. So this position here, firstly, his hips are sort of rolled forward. So if, if you could imagine that, he's, that we could see his thigh bone, his thigh bone sort of being pushed up and, and out of the socket as such. So if it's sort of sitting in the socket normally, because he's sitting like that, it's now moving to there. Now, if, if Nathan was to adjust his pelvic position and, and move into a better position, and you'll see he'll sit taller, and, and you can see how his butt sort of turned like that. This femur, his thigh bone that was sitting up at, right up here, is now just sort of dropped down and is sitting deeper into the socket there. All right, so basically the glutes went into a stretch, um, and he, now he gets a better hip um, position. Um, second to that is his lumbar spine now just went into its natural curve, where if he rolls back into where he was before, you'll see how his bum will suck under and then now his lumbar discs are going to be really under a lot of pressure. So we're going to start by touching the sciatic nerve around here. So he's going to be at risk of a back problem. And he's definitely going to be at risk of a hip problem. So his glutes are going to go stiff and tight. And they're going to be sort of stuck in contraction and pushing his femur out of the socket. And this is a very common thing for that piriformis syndrome. He's going to develop trigger points there. Right, so what he needs to do is he needs to sit that butt right back into the chair. See that? So he's tilting that pelvis forward, no different to what we teach with deadlifts. Now, if the person that struggles with this, they just don't have a lot of strength to hold themselves there, they may even find something like a little lumbar roll, which you, could, you can buy off the internet, which are good ones. I'm just using a towel here. Um, and this just helps him to sort of stay in this position and keep that nice little lumbar curve. What he'll find as a struggle throughout the day is that his bum will want to just suck under again. He'll, he'll, and he'll have to be aware that he has to sit deep back into the chair and his pelvis has got to tilt forward. That'll help him maintain his better position for, um, for when he's going to do his workouts that, that hold everything for, together longer. Um, because it really doesn't matter how good your workouts are or your stretching or whatever it is you do, if you're going to do several hours of this, it just wipes it all out. Right, so this is the, the mechanism or the cause behind the trouble. You've got to start rectifying it. Uh, ideally, you would not want to sit for very long if that's the problem, but if your job demands it of you, you're going to have to find another way. All right, so stand-up desks are common for occupations, but I've had recently some fighter pilots. Um, they can't stand up while they're flying, so you know th this, this is something they're going to have to work on and find a better seated, seated position for them. All right, so. Hope you enjoy that video and we'll see you on the next one.